dropped. Can't see shit. Turn on my light. Hoo wee! That was a nice little tap. Okay, it has been a while since I've been here. Uh, let me see what my quests are real quick. I think most of my shit's up in the north. Got a couple stashes up in Agriprom. And I got that quest to do. Yeah, I got a quest up in Antar. One in, what's this place called? This is the Dead City. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, Dead City. And then a bunch of shit over in uh, Rostock on the mercenary side. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a long journey. Oh, and I guess I'm up in Corden too. Okay. I should probably go ahead and get that done real quick since there's also a stash there. So, since it's been a while, I guess I'll show you what my arsenal's looking like real quick. Um, I got me a 5.56 AK that I'm pretty proud of. I finally got this gas mask up and working. Also got a helmet that I got from doing Clear Skies Quest. I found this ecologist suit on a dead ecologist, if I remember correctly. And I've got a shotgun with a red dot on it. Everything else is still about relatively the same. Except I've got a bunch more ammo. And a bunch more food and meds. And I also uh, really understand the crafting a lot more than uh, what I did in uh, episode 4. <clears throat> So, I don't know if I'll be explaining it in a intro, but if not, I will explain it now. And if I do explain an intro while well, you're just hearing it again, um, I was on a hiatus for a while, mainly because um, around, I think it was like in middle to late November was when I started getting busy quite a bit with a lot of like family stuff with the holidays coming around. And then by the time I was about to start recording again, I got sick and it was really, really bad. So I was down for about a week straight, maybe a little longer. And I've just now reached the point to where my voice isn't fucked up. Um, I'm feeling pretty good now. I still got a little bit of, uh, you know, mucus, phlegm, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> As you can hear. Um, it's not that bad. Um, I'll probably... I doubt I'll keep any coughing in the video because I still kind of have a bad cough, but it is what it is. Um, also, I forgot too, the reason why I didn't record any new Stalker videos for like two weeks is because I ordered a new microphone, which I'm sure you can hear now sounds much better than my old one. And I was legit just so picky about like the audio from recording that I just did not want to record with my old microphone because it sounded so bad, at least in the recordings it did. But um, yeah, I got real excited to use my new microphone. And then, um, shit started happening to where, uh, I was out with family for holidays and then I got sick and now I am finally able to come back, record some more stalker and use my new microphone. So I'm pretty excited and I was going to go through a quick little stash show real quick. Um, as you can see, I also have a 545 AK, uh, basically almost fully repaired. The barrel is not in terrible condition. Um, I also have a KS-23 that I want to upgrade because this is better than my 12-gauge shotgun. I also found a Desert Eagle, which is pretty cool. And I found a Mosin that I want to fix up and turn that into like a high-caliber sniper rifle. And I got a Glock 17 as backup, 
and I have more. Okay, this is clear sky armor. Um, this is better than my current ecologist armor. So that's why I grabbed that. And then, of course, I have my spare clear sky body armor that I got from doing the quest. And then I also have a bunch more of these craft of uh, these uh, kits that I use to make ammo and all that stuff. And of course, I got the uh, repair kits for the armor, handgun. Um, the historic weapon repair kit was usable for the shotgun, so that was kind of weird. And then I had to use the army repair kit rifle to replace the parts in the AK. So, <clears throat> that wasn't too bad. And of course, I just have a shit ton of ammo parts, which I think I... No, I don't think I have small bore. Okay, I have small bore. Um, I've got plenty of ammo ammo to begin with, so I don't really need to make any more ammo. I uh, just got a bunch of crafting supplies, some spare parts in case any of my guns start to wear down. Um, I've got dual tube night vision, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I can't wait to get the expert tools to make the quad nods, so I'm also really excited about that. I'm also trying to build the uh, the artifact application modules. I think I need to craft the better version from this one in order for me to use them, I think. I could be wrong on that, so make sure to let me know. And I've got a couple of uh, artifacts on me, which I'm probably just going to sell. But yeah, other, th other than that... Um, nothing really that much different. Just still got a bunch of food. Maybe I might should, uh, maybe I might buy a little bit more water. Uh, I got tons of vodka on me. Although, I've only got one use of this for cooking. <clears throat> I think I might store this because this takes up quite a bit of space. So I'll just leave like two just in case I get radiated really bad. Um, it's got a, I got 16 fucking caffeine tablets. I could probably sell those or turn that into cocaine and sell the cocaine. Or maybe use it. I'm not sure. If I need it really bad, maybe I'll use it. I also got a shit ton of bandages too. Okay, so yeah, that's really about it in terms of uh, my gear... And, oh yeah, I forgot, I also have a buddy too. I forget, did I give you anything? No, I grabbed everything else I put on him. But yeah, uh, other than that, I tried not doing any of the main quests because I wanted to save those for the videos. So all like the money that I've gained, the almost 100k that I got, is all from doing like the quest from, you know, from the normal NPCs, killing bandits and stuff like that. I wanted to avoid doing the main quest because I wanted to save those for the video. But we're going to get this stash and quest out of the way. And I'm going to hit up the stashes over in Agriprom. And then I'm going to go do this quest for Strelok. So I will probably see you guys there whenever I either reach the destination or some crazy shit happens. I don't know how many of you guys have messed with your reshade settings on your Stalker Gamma. If you have not, I highly recommend um, playing around with with uh, your reshade settings. I don't know how it's going to look in the recording. Nope. Frame stutter. But um, at least looking through my Streamlabs, the coloring looks weird. But it could just be the colors on my second monitor. But if the colors end up looking at least somewhat what they look like on my screen on the YouTube video. I'd be really happy about that. But if you have not messed with your reshade settings, I highly, highly recommend you do. I don't think it really messes with any performance. I haven't really noticed any negative impact of performance. It's about relatively the same that I have usually. I think my game usually runs at like 70 frames. That's on like good locations, I think. Because uh, 
the X-ray, I think it's called, it's either the X-ray or the, or the uh, monolith engines. Well, I'm pretty sure it's called X-ray. But, um, <clears throat> oh, good lord. But the X-ray engine is just not all that good at um, pulling a lot of resources to really, like, get the maximum amount of performance on your rig. So it does kind of suck that uh, the frames look a little choppy, but at the same time, I guess it also makes a little sense too, since Gamma is very graphically intensive. But the reshade really makes the game like look really, really good. I just love how beautiful this game looks. Oh, Maria has stamina. I'm not even overweight. Oh, I forgot to buy water too. Oh well. This has one use, this has three, and this has three. I'll be fine. That's like five, no, like a, technically like a week's worth of water use, I think. Also, something I did not know about. It was something that my friend showed me. Um, it was in, yeah, devices. I did not know you could make, um... A better version of your current PDA. Fuck. I just I just now remember that because I'm showing you guys that. I'm pretty sure I have the stuff at home in order to do that. But oh well. I guess I could do it whenever I come back. Um, but yeah, I did not know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's either this or this. I'm pretty sure it's this that allows me to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what allows me to put on um, artifacts, and I don't think they give me radiation if I put them in there, and I think it doubles the use span of them. I'm not sure. Um, I've, also, I've got a lot of shit I need to upgrade to. But yeah, uh, I don't know if it's an anomaly, like base anomaly, but at least for Gamma... I did not know you could um, upgrade your PDA, so that's definitely something I am going to work toward whenever I come back. And there's a bunch of fleshes around here. Let's kill these guys real quick. Die, son of a bitch. Shotgun will kill him faster. Oh, teammates killing him too. Yoinkity sploinky your meat. Also, is it just me or is it kind of weird that like if you eat the food, it gives you like a shit ton of radiation. But like the food itself like doesn't give off any radiation. I don't know. I don't know if that's like weird or not, but at least whenever I think about it like in that sense, it's kind of weird. Kind of hoping I get something good from the stash. It's probably going to be terrible, but... Hopefully it's something good. Oh, there's a lot of radiation here, too. Where is it? It's probably this box here. PPSH, basic tools, fire starter kit. Those are the documents. Ooh, AP rounds. Okay, I actually got pretty decent stuff from this. Uh, I have no idea what that's for. Gas tube, self-loading rifle. It's 43% durability. Not really all that good, if you ask me. That cloth is fucking ruined. Uh, pretty sure I need advanced tools for the better PDA. Let's just disassemble this. Okay, I was gonna. I thought it was. That's what I was gonna disassemble. <clears throat> okay. Why am I getting. Like weird little pockets of radiation around here? Okay, I think that's it for Cordon. Oh, I got a bunch of stashes in Dark Valley. 
pretty sure this is the bandit base. I've got a lot of stashes over at uh, Dark Valley. Maybe I might head over there real quick and uh, let's do the meadow. Maybe I'll go over there real quick and uh, get those stashes because that's a lot of stashes. So yeah, I'm going to go get those real quick. And there's a bunch of bandits there too, so uh, probably get some good loot. Uh-oh. Is that a... Goddamn bloodsuckers. They're so fucking creepy. They just got a little tentacles on them. You know, you could ignore those zombies. You know, I'll let you do your thing. Hey, it was just monsters after monsters out here. I don't think a size storm happened recently, so it's kind of weird. There's so many zombies out here. Unless maybe they've just been zombified by the uh, emissions. There's a big pocket of radiation there. I'm going to stay over on this side just in case there's like any bandits or anyone by this house. Because normally uh, bandits kind of like to sit around here. Campfire isn't lit. Normally whenever the campfire is lit, people uh, sit around there. It's just zombies. I'm not really worried about zombies. They're slow and dumb. Man, this is quite a bit of stuttering that uh, my game's been having. In case you're uh, screaming at your screen telling me to enable the stutter mod, I have it. I have it on. I think it's just my game is... Uh, just stuttering real bad because maybe it's because I haven't loaded it up in a few days. Game just needs to load all the processes. I think it'd be faster if I go through garbage, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's the only way to get to it, pretty much. Might be faster if I just went through uh, Main Street of Corden. I don't think there's any bandits in here, is there? Doesn't look like it. So normally that house is like a bandit little hideout. Been shot there quite a few times. Blind dogs. Maybe they won't notice me? As long as my guy doesn't shoot at him. Oh, and now they know. Oh my god, that dog at a weird ass fucking leap. Oh, someone must have died. It's kind of annoying that whenever someone fucking dies, you fucking lose the rep and shit. All because, uh, you accepted the quest. It's a little annoying, but it is what it is. Although I don't think you lose a whole lot of rep from it. Yo, what a, what a dog doing? Alright, I guess uh the anomaly was is uh gonna finish him for me. I'll take it. Were you not dead? Hey, you're the dog, but he got caught up in that anomaly. Alright, yeah, you go take care of him, Chungus. Oh, who's that? Uh, oh, wrong button. Oh my god, that's a lot of bandits. Are you a bandit? Alright. He's gonna put his gun away and lay on the ground. That's funny. That's a lot of bandits coming from over there. Luckily, bandits aren't hard to fight. That's just a lot of them. Holy shit. <clears throat> What'd you have on you, bucko? Damn, this motherfucker had a lot of shotguns on him. Just 
disassemble all this stuff since it's useless. Okay. Alright. Oh my god, there's like a fucking gang. Oh, they're not happy I killed their homie. <laughs> like, I just fucking let out. Uda! Alright, these guys are going down fucking quick, though. Guess that's what happens when you're a fucking bandit. Is that it? Is that all you guys got? Oh. Too easy. Too fucking easy. Should probably pull out the shotgun. Oh. That's why I pulled out the shotgun. Because I figured they'd be uh, kind of danger close. Damn, shotgun don't fuck around on uh, stalkers with uh, no armor. Did I loot you? I did not. Oh, he had some sleeping pills. That will come in handy. Right, these guys were no fucking match for me. Uh, can I loot you? I should be able to loot you. Yep, just barely. Uh, who's this mission for? Is it for Sidorovich? No, it's for someone else. Who was it? Ah. One of the guys in Rostock. One of the duty guys. Yeah, I'm gonna hate being overweight already. He's a knife. I already got a knife. I've got so many fucking bolts and empty cartridges. I should probably use them more. Although most of the time, whenever I... Oh. Oh, hiccups. Usually most of the time, whenever I'm trying to uh, avoid anomalies, they're usually pretty easy. It's kind of rare whenever I get hit by an anomaly. Man, it's always so annoying how, like, those little, like, camp zones over there are fucking filled to the brim of radiation. Because when you're a fresh stalker and you don't have any radiation protection, that shit fucks you real quick. I'm lucky I have an ecologist suit and uh, a helmet that has pretty good radiation protection. Plus my gas mask, so... Radiation is not that much of a problem anymore, but I remember... In uh, my uh, early days of being a newbie stalker, those little radiation pockets would fuck you. Goddamn war! Oh, there's so many. Why are you not dying? Oh my god. Why are you not dying? Good fucking lord. That was a lot of bore. <clears throat> kind of don't want to waste a med kit right now. I had a bunch of them, but I kind of use them for uh, crafting and making uh, better stim packs. So I kind of don't really want to waste them a whole lot. Alright, there's a dark valley entrance over here I can take. Hopefully there's no more, like dangerous mutants in this area that want to fucking kill me. Ow. What the fuck did I just hit? There's no way I hit one of those, did I? My legs aren't fucked up. Guess I just randomly took damage, I guess. Ooh, big radiation here. This is not... Not very fun. 
I'm pretty sure Dark Valley. Yeah, entrance is right up here. Uh oh. Oh boy. These are mercenaries. At least I think they're mercenaries. Pretty sure they're mercenaries. Pretty sure I saw their blue uniforms. Yep, they're mercenaries. Oh, always oh, rushing me. Alright, I'm pretty sure that guy is shot in the face right there. Went and uh, lied down because he was not feeling good. I think he had a tummy ache. Shut up. Where are you? There you are. Shut up. What'd you have on you, bucko? Oh, he had a suppressor I'll take. Kunan. 357. Actually, I don't want that. Shit, that's almost fucking broke. Alright, what'd you have on you, Papi Chulo? Forty-eight BR class. That's not bad. MP5. Thanks for the free loot, Bucko. Let's disassemble all this real quick. Of that cloth, it's kind of useless. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. All right, on to Dark Valley. I load in, there's a fucking pack of dogs. Oh my god, there's so many fucking dogs. not to shoot my buddy and there's boar maybe there's so many you fucking mutants here because I haven't been here yet all the emissions that happen here just spawn a bunch of mutants all right guess the board's gonna run away I'll take it <clears throat> Looks like all of the stashes, luckily, are not on the uh, bandit base. So I just need to head over here. But there's still mutants. Oh! Well, not anymore. Bro, there's more? Bro, what the fuck? There is so many fucking mutants here. Dogs. I was about to say, that's probably what you're shooting at, buddy. Oh. Pull out the shotgun. Oh my god, that Frame jitters. Well, I, the, the uh, frame rate really uh, can make it hard to... Uh, fight enemies in this game sometimes because your screen just like jitters real bad it makes it hard to aim and there are so many fucking mutants around here holy shit grab the parts because uh, it's a lot of money for the scientist guy I wonder if those are bandits or like mercs or free stalkers down there fighting. Probably find out. Are you good guys? 
Okay, it's freedom. Oh, and there's a pseudo giant down there. Where the fuck you going, chubby? I've never, like, full-on fought a pseudo-giant yet, so... Let me try giving it a go. Worst case scenario is I bring this guy over to, uh... The Freedom guys and they help out. I think it's plus on the numpad to remove. Yeah, there we go. Hey, bro, you might want to come over here. Legs like a smash. Okay. Took about 60-ish rounds to kill him, but... Pseudo giant hide. Or it's worth a decent bit of money. So where is it? 4,000. Probably get about... 1500 from uh, the scientist guy. Ain't knowing hell I'd get the full on uh, 4K for it. Definitely be faster if I just jumped over there, but is it safer? Ugh. Way too close for comfort. Uh, it's probably in this tree stump. Yeah, it looks like it's in the tree stump. <coughs> More basic tools. I'll take it. Let's see, where was. Wasn't that like a makeshift grenade I picked up? Powder can. Yeah, disassemble that. I don't know if it actually blows up if you get hit, but I'm not taking chances. Just hopscotch my way out of the water. I learned doing that from uh, the swamps. So you can like fucking. It doesn't completely negate. Oh, someone's shooting at me. So this is definitely a uh, bandit hideout, I think. They're probably at war with some of the free stalkers. Oh, military. This is not good. Yeah, this is a military base. This is not good at all. I fucking wiped out the military base in Agriprom, and that shit was a pain in the fucking balls. Mamer anomaly. Ugh, that sounds spooky. Hopefully there aren't as much military guys in here as the one in Agriprom. <coughs> Saw some dogs running out. Maybe that's a good sign. I hear gunfire all around though. I'm gonna take off the scope. Yeah. Alright, I got a shot from somewhere. Wait. I could have swore I bought a Cobra sight. Oh. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. No idea where I'm getting shot from. That guy's fucking arms are all messed up. Okay, maybe this place might be a uh, no bueno. Oh. Ah, there's a guy right there. Fuck. Arms fucked up. Let's take some ibuprofen to heal up my arms real quick. Damn, now my guy's getting fucking hungry and thirsty too. 
Come on, man. That was my shit. My shit's on full auto. I don't want that. It's just wasting too much ammo. Show yourself, shithead. That's what I fucking thought. Bro, is my teammate just like in there? No, he's not in combat. No idea. I have no idea where I'm getting shot from right now. Is there a guy up in the crane? No. Here's someone coming by. I see if I can like draw some of their fire. Here's someone walking, but I have no idea where they are. It's so weird. I fucking peek my head out on this side, I get shot, but not on the other side. I don't see anyone in the windows. There's no one up there. Also, where's my fucking teammate? Oh, now it shows he's in combat. That's fucking weird. Unless that's my teammate walking right here. Oh, yeah, that's my teammate. Alright, let's take off the site real quick since we're getting the CQB. Alright, he's fighting fools. Where are they, Chungus? Is there someone up in the tower? I don't think so. Ah, there you are. I don't think I got him. Show me your fucking head. There we go. Here's someone making... Dropped? Can't see shit. Turn on my light. Hoo wee! That was a nice little tap. Cooling the shit out, Spezna style. Spezna's were actually good. Only BR class 19. It's cringe. You guys are military too. You're rocking that. Make sure no one's out here to fucking shoot me in the face. He's got a bison. I might have my teammate carry that uh, upgrade pack. These shits are fucking heavy. I hate carrying these things around. Alright, so far so good. Yeah, I'm gonna have you carry... Come here. I'm gonna have you carry... Where is it? Have you carry that. And I'm gonna have you carry these tools. Cause I don't need them right now. I like guess hungry and thirsty, but we cannot snack until we know the fight is over. So far, it looks like the fight might actually be over. I think the guys I killed were uh, third floor. 
big save. It's one of the stashes. Anything in here? Oh, bandage. I'll take that. Is this cloth? Is it in good condition? Oh, it's in very good condition. Okay, this military base was definitely not as difficult as uh, the one in Agriprom. Ooh, that's a cool looking AK. So this is definitely not one of the main military bases. Pretty sure the one in Agriprom is the main one. Small radio. Let's disassemble that real quick. Where is it? That's not it, but I'll disassemble that anyway. There it is. Ooh wee. Still pretty fat on loot. Also got a shit ton of unnecessary ammo. I'll just break down real quick. Okay, made quite a bit of space. Okay, so now I just don't really care about finding where these stashes are. Locksmith's case, safe and hanger. Okay, so this locksmith's case. It's not here, so it's probably either second or th uh, first floor. I'll check out here real quick just to be s just to be sure. Let's check up here real quick too. Uh, does it look like it's up here? Eight. All right, check second floor, and then first floor. Where's in here? Ah, it's right here. No, is this not it? It's definitely no, it's not it. But that's definitely a stash spot. Should probably go ahead and eat and drink real quick while I wait for my stam to regen. Let's go ahead and eat this fat bacon. Mm, munchy, munchy, munchy. Oh, maybe it's in the basement? <clears throat> Hello? Anyone down here? This place is definitely creepy. Yeah, it's definitely not down here, but maybe the other boxes oh looks like i'm loading into a new zone that's not what i wanted to do oh my god that noise scared the fuck out of me i have no idea where i'm at and this place is already creeping me out so i'm gonna get the fuck out of here ha huh, okay back in safety Bro, what the fuck is going on? I hope the uh, military guys didn't respawn. Just need to figure out where the stash is. Locksmith's case. I thought I checked all the floors. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and get the one in the hangar real quick, though. This one should be obvious. Yep, it's right here. Gunsmithing tools. And a 545 barrel that's basically broken. Okay, I'll try and look a little bit more, see if I can find this stash, and if not, we'll just go somewhere else. 
Okay, I cannot find the stash, so I'm just gonna move on right now. I'm gonna spend the whole game trying to look for this damn thing. There is one over here by this campfire I can get, though. Hopefully it's not too close to uh, the bandits. Oh, hello, dog. Is that a pseudo dog? I think that's a pseudo dog. Also, why is my vision getting all blurry? Where the fuck is that from? I think it might be from the. No? Something's going on making my guy's uh, vision go all blurry. I don't know what it is. I have no idea where that pseudo dog went now. Oh, there it is. He's running around. Man, there's a lot of fucking dogs around here. Holy shit. Uh, something tells me I gotta go in there for this stash. Oh, and there's a bad guy right here. You're probably a bandit, aren't you? Oh, you're a mercenary. That's even worse. Okay. This is even worse. Yeah, I ain't taking my chances. I'm gonna medicate up. I don't like this. Damn, he's shit talking me for my medkit too. You little shit, where are you? There you are. Oh, I'm all fucked up. I am all fucked up. I do not like that. S fuckers are making me waste my goddamn medkits too. <laughs> you little shits. The fuck are you? There you are, you old bastard. That's right. Take a round in your fucking chin and like it. Oh, there's more. Oh. Oh, he's being attacked by the fucking dogs. I'll try and help you out here, buddy. Oh, I think I just shot him in the fucking legs. your own medicate you little bastard would you have yeah an AK-101 no usable parts in it what are this bald guy killed over here is like some like mega bandit henchman or some shit Sultan I wonder if he was like uh big bad boy for the bandits. I'm kind of worried a little bit about going into uh, the bandit stronghold here. It's a little worrisome kind of sitting out here in the middle. 58% is not bad condition. Slurp down some ibuprofen. Get those heals. Oh yeah, something tells me that the stash is up in there where that anomaly is going back and forth. And I do not like that. I will check down here though just to be sure. Hopefully there's... Oh, I hear boar. That's not the worst, I guess. Oh, there's uh, quite a bit of them, though. Stay the fuck away from me. Oh my god. It's not good. And my fucking teammates know where to be seen. Teammate, where are you? Gotta need some help here. 
Bro, how many fucking shells am I gonna load to this thing? Damn, bro, are you gonna fucking help me or what? You were fucking slow to help. Useless piece of trash. Ooh, we a lot of boar parts, though. All right, for my own safety, I'm going to light this and quick save. Cause I did not like that. Please be the fucking stash. Oh, thank God, it's the fucking stash. I'll take off that scope. I'll take it and sell it. <sighs> Hoo wee. Okay. That is all these stashes around here except that one, which I cannot fucking find. But it is what it is. Uh, the stash right here I also could not find for the life of me. Um, I got a quest back over in, uh... Great Swamps, I can go ahead and turn in real quick, so I'll probably go ahead and do that real quick. <sighs> also getting nighttime too. I guess it still has plenty of energy left in him though, so looks like I might be going on a uh, night run. It's gonna be kind of cool and spooky at the same time. Is this the way back into the garbage? Looks like it is. Yeah. Garbage. Meadow. Yeah, I'll just go through the garbage and go down through Cordon. What do zombies here I don't really care about? Zombies really aren't that much of a problem to me. I'll let you deal with them though. Is there any loot around here while uh, I'm here? Bro, don't fucking shoot me. Earn the fucking aim, you dumb fuck. Let's go over to the garbage. I don't want to deal with those zombies. Oh my god, there's just a bandit right here? Bro, I swear to god, these mercenaries and fucking... Bandits are like setting up ambushes for me. I swear to god, these motherfuckers are out for me. Got five first aid, so I've got still a decent bit amount. What you got on you, shitlord? Nothing of my time. Bane has never have anything of worth on you. How much ammo do I got? Plenty of buckshot. Plenty of shotgun ammo. Still a good bit of, uh, 5.56, too. Ain't nothing that I'm really worried about. Uh-oh. What's coming after me now? Pseudo dog. Damn, bro. Die. Wait, there's more? Oh my god, that's a lot of fucking pseudo dogs. Good fucking lord. These guys are in abundance, aren't they, Chungus? And this shotgun sure does put, the, uh, put these things down. Yes, I'll have you deal with them. Real little shit. That's right, die. Leave me the fuck alone. I've killed so many fucking mutants this goddamn run. Also, I don't know why, but I feel slow. I feel like I'm hopping along instead of actually sprinting. 
It's like a bunch of meat gibbs. Oh, it looks like the head of a zombie? No? I have no idea what that is. I don't know if something was just murdered here recently, or if that was just like a thing that was a part of the environment. It looked like a some type of like gorilla or some shit. That was a little spooky looking. It's a free stalker. Hope I can get all this stuff back home before it gets completely dark. Well, oh, and my fucking UI is doing that weird thing where it slowly scrolls through. That's an annoying fucking bug. I've got a lot of shit on me. I also need to take a bunch of all these mutant parts to Yantar and sell them to the scientists too. Make a fat haul from it. I mean, I won't lie, this uh, episode honestly didn't really feel that much productive. Like, all I really did was go to, uh, what was it, Dark Valley? And, uh, just, like, got some stashes and killed some military guys. That was really about it. <clears throat> kind of hate that I, uh,. Was able to get around doing the main quest, but maybe we could do that tomorrow. And there's still a bunch of zombies around here still. Make sure there's no one on top of the bridge up there. Old Chungus, if you want to waste your ammo on these zombies, be my guest. I ain't fucking dealing with them. I just want to get home, put my shit away, and just go to bed. Pass another day in the zone. But yeah, hopefully next episode... Oh, stupid stutter. But yeah, um, hopefully next episode I can kind of get some more uh, main quests done. Because man, like, you do something in this game... And, like, you just get sidetracked immediately. Pretty sure that's my teammate out here walking. And he's shooting shit. But yeah, you get sidetracked so easily in this game. You fucking turn in some quest. You, uh, see some stashes you unlock. And the stashes are on the way of where you want to go. And then you loot all those stashes, and you get fucking yoked out on loot. Then you want to head back and store all that loot. And since I was an idiot, I made my stash in, uh, in the swamps. So I always have a long trek back to store all my shit. I know a good fast travel... But that would, uh, that costs legit like 6, 7k plus of my money. I think it takes like 10% of like what I have on me. And since I'm a greedy little bastard, I don't want to waste my money on, uh, on just some simple fast travel. So I don't really mind just sprinting there. Yeah, it's a long journey, but... 
Yeah, I still find more loot along the way and make a little bit more money, so it's all right. Also, I think Chungus is being bullied by the zombies, which... Not really my problem. I could care less. <clears throat> I don't really have an attachment to, uh... My followers in this game, like what I do in, like, Fallout or something. What do you think is the point of the, uh... The point of the companions in this game? They're just really, just more or less, like, bullet sponges and... And, like, just alert bells whenever there's enemies nearby. They're not, like, entirely useless, but they're still not, not very fucking useful. God, I still just can't get over how fucking creepy nighttime is in this game. Like, if you don't have night vision, this game is fucking terrifying in fucking nighttime. Hell, even with night vision, this game is still pretty scary. Also, why is my guy... I almost just kind of want to turn off combat for him because he's being a dumbass. I can see pretty well, but I wonder how much I can see with the night vision, though. Eh. I mean, it's kind of bright. Definitely makes it a million times easier to see, but it's not really necessary. I don't really want to waste my batteries on it. I'll just save them for when it's completely pitch black. Ooh, carry weight improved. I wish I could carry now. 98 kilograms? That guy's a buff little fucker. Is this a bad guy or is this freedom? He's freedom. You gonna light the campfire for me, buddy? Hey, Stalker, чем пожаловал? Appreciate the little quick save there, comrade. Man, this game sounds so peaceful in the swamp. Until you realize that the swamp is full of mutants and is extremely dangerous. Other than that, it sounds so peaceful out here. I don't have any quests, like, out in the... Mil no. The only thing I have is just a turn in this quest over here. It's just some documents I w he wants me to uh, take to him. So at least I get some money out of uh, coming back. Probably won't be a lot. Probably only be like 8k or some shit like that. But I guess that's enough to buy like a stack of bandages. Sounds kind of weird, but that's just how life is in the zone. Also, I haven't checked to see, uh, where's the statistics? Okay. My rank is experienced. Reputation excellent. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, oh, these are like the guys with like the highest rank. Legend, 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 legend. Okay, that's cool. These are like the guys who, uh, have very high ranking in the zone. Veteran. Damn, does that mean I'm 409th place? It's actually kind of cool that there's like a little, like, ranking system in the zone. Kind of gives you, like, a little goal. To become the best stalker in the zone. Well, I'm not really surprised that Monolith is uh, rank 1. Those guys are fucking lunatics. Oh, you know, the one thing that does feel good about this game. Is when you've been on a long journey. And you slowly trug your way back to your base. So that way you can store your shit in your stash, restock up on the supplies you've used, and get ready and go back out into the zone for the next day. God, the entrance way to the fucking clear sky space is so fucking creepy. All the dead trees just sprawling around all around here. Makes it look like a 
tunnel of haunted woods. Such a creepy entrance to a base. Especially to a faction that's like not very violent at all. It is a very creepy entrance to a fucking faction that's basically borderline harmless. Ah, <sighs> but it does feel good to be back home. Also, who's the guy I need to turn the quest to? It's for... Is it you? The doctor? Yeah, it's for you. Okay. 5,300. That's a lot worse than what I thought. Uh, is there any more work you want done? Okay. Well, at least I quest, uh, give me back the rep I lost from that one guy that died. Um, trying to think what I need to do. I know I need to sell some shit. Probably some stuff to sort out in my stash. It's mainly just all boring stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, especially my return back to Stalker. Hopefully I can, uh, get some more Stalker videos up. Cause I, uh, I fucking love playing this game. And, uh, I don't know how long it's going to be on the channel, but it's definitely staying here for a while. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you when the next video drops.